Riverstoke Callows is a stretch of semi-natural lowland grassland, uh, wet grassland, which stretches more or less from Castle Coote in the north, about 70 kilometres south to Shannon Bridge, where it meets with the Shannon Callows. And because the suck, uh, the river suck floods and bursts its banks and covers lots of areas around it, during winter it provides an important source for wintering wildfowl coming here from more northerly uh, or colder regions. The Sug Callows has been designated a special protection area for hooper swans, Greenland white front goose, widgeon, uh, golden plover and lapwing. Well, the Greenland white-fronted goose comes to Ireland and Scotland every year from, from Greenland, as its name suggests. Uh, they breed in, in Greenland, and, but winter would be just too harsh up there, they, they wouldn't survive. So they migrate uh, south and they come to Ireland. Uh, Greenland white fronts would have traditionally grazed on bogs in, in Ireland, uh, but in more recent years they have moved on to grassland. On the Suk Callows, we would have a population of about 200. The same flock, I suppose, would have been coming here for thousands of years. Well, the main aim of the National Parks and Wildlife Service in relation to areas like the Suk Callows is to protect the habitat, uh, to maintain it, or, or, or even increase, where possible, the populations or habitats that the designation exists for. Uh, this is Derrien Wood and it is actually an island in the middle of a bog which was once a very big lake. Uh, the island was so isolated that only native species grew in it. We have the old oak which is still here and hazel which generally accompanies the oak. The hazels were very important, of course, to our ancient people. We've got birch and a mountain ash, or rowan tree, all totally native. And along with that, we've got a very endangered species. It's called the bird cherry. On the floor of the, of the wood, we have, we have carpet of native Irish bluebells which are at present in full bloom, a sea of blue and a beautiful perfume from them. Now the, uh, the floor is also covered with the wood sorrel, a plant which can be used in salad. The uniqueness of Derring Woods highlights the importance of the various habitats along the river, especially to the fauna that cause the Suck Valley their home. So the banks of the river are also important for fauna. Uh, most notably, I suppose, the otter, which any previous surveys we've done uh, has shown that we have a, a good healthy population of otters along the Suck. Although most of us don't, don't see them on a regular basis, we, we, we survey otters by searching for tracks. The banks are also very helpful for things like kingfishers, which need to burrow into the bank to nest and for breeding grey wagtails as well. Hen harriers are one of the raptor species that we find in this area. Uh, in summer they breed in upland areas in other parts of the country, but they do come here for winter and spend the winter feeding on uh, small birds and mammals and stuff that live along the suck callows. And, uh, so the suck callows are, are an important area uh, and including the turlocks around them for hen harriers to spend their winter.